The Worldwide Telescope Ambassadors team has developed an eight-day curriculum to teach the causes of seasons on Earth to middle school students. This curriculum is free, by the way, and will be made available to the public. The curriculum starts by introducing some basic concepts and terminology. Check out how it looks now that it's on this side of the sun. Let me blow the earth and sun up so you can see better. And then moves on to understanding how the sun moves through our sky. From here, students learn how heat energy is transferred to earth through hands-on activities with physical models. So now the person can look straight ahead almost and be able to see the sun without looking, lifting up their head at all. So we're gonna point to the sun with their other arm to show the difference in the sun angle. Throughout the eight-day curriculum, instructor-led discussion is blended with physical models as well as these media resources you see here. Places in the no. Look at it. it says more time in daylight, so then it has to be. Oh, that's, yeah. Porto Mont. That's Porto Mont. An important stage occurs when students have to switch between two perspectives of the Earth Sun system. That is, the curriculum guides students towards connecting an Earth based understanding of Earth and Sun with a space based understanding where they can see this system from a great distance away. The combination and interplay of these two perspectives helps students appreciate the importance of the tilt of the Earth in causing seasons, and how they feel this tilt in their everyday lives. You'll see that Boston spends much more of its rotation in darkness than in daylight. Just the instructional videos give students a chance to connect pen and paper illustrations of Earth and Sun with accurate three-dimensional models. The direction the Earth rotates around the axis. This connection helps prevent the misconceptions that students sometimes draw from simplified or misleading diagrams in textbooks. Addressing misconceptions is a key component of the Seasons curriculum. Students often arrive to class believing something about Seasons, and they don't let go of these beliefs easily. Once we have built a comprehensive and digestible explanation of the cause of Earth Seasons, we can then dissect these misconceptions and gently remove them from existing mental models. By the end of the curriculum, students are left with a simple but complete picture of why it actually gets warmer in the summer and colder in the winter.